All right, guys, here we go. So you're going to need a pair of dumbbells. I'm going to use a pair of 10s, and I'm going to set my timer up right here. If you can see, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest for eight rounds. We're doing lots of athletic stuff, so at least make sure that you have a mat. So grab your dumbbells. We're going to get started in 10 seconds. All right, so here we go. So we're going to start with a King Kong squat. So the dumbbells are going to be up tall. Look at my back in the mirror. Okay, first 30 seconds, I'm going to pull down. I'm going to pry my elbows and keep in a straight back. Open the elbows and pull all the way up. Try to keep your chest back. Don't lean into it. Keep your weight in your heels and come up. We're going to do that again. We're going to drop down into that squat. Abs tight. Pump. Think about pulling your biceps up into your shoulders. Again, pull down. We got two. One. Two. Done. Okay, so we're going to put our weights down. We're going to go into an athletic move on, this, on the ground, which is called an ape. So I'm going to start in that deep squat position. My hands are going to reach outside. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this before we go. We're going to start in about 15 seconds. You're going to reach outside, try to lift your butt up in the air, and pass your hands over. So your hands stay in one place. So I'm just going to plant. If you can't do this, look, just tiptoe your feet over and fall into that squat. So I want to reach. Push my butt up in the air. Reach, this is great for the shoulders. Push your butt up in the air. Again, you can do this twice if you want. I'm just demonstrating it in the yoga mat. So look, I'm up nice and tall. Reach outside the foot, put your butt up in the air. Right foot past the hand, up and over. Whew. Legs start to smoke up a little bit here. It's called a lateral eight. See my back is nice and straight in the mirror. Come up nice and tall, come on, keep moving here. Get your butt going, your quads should be burning. All right, whew, so that's our leg exercise. We're getting to our upper back. So we're gonna take our tens, and this is called a crush row. We're gonna crush the weights together. We're gonna hinge nice and deep. We're gonna start in about 20 seconds, and we're gonna pull. So you have to keep the weights together the whole time. It's a whole different feeling on the upper back. So we're gonna start in, whew, five, four, get your butt back, three, two, one, and crush. So smash the weights together and pull. Pull your shoulder blades deep into your back pocket. Keep upright. Squat down deeper if you feel it in your back at all. And you should really start feeling that on the shoulder blades. Keep your chin in, root it down through the heels. Keep pulling the weight towards your ribs. Don't rock it all. Pull, we got five, come on, four, three, two, one, whoo, man. All right, so our athletic movement is gonna be constant punching. So your lead leg's gonna be forward, your jab, and then your cross comes off your back hip forward, okay? So it's jab, cross, all your weight ends up on your left foot. So it'll be one, two, and back. One, two, turn that hip, okay? So we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, jab, cross, jab, cross. Constantly moving the shoulders and the hips. I'm trying to hit myself in the face the whole time. You can move up a little bit. Jab, cross, jab, cross. So turn that back hip, turning the knuckles slightly down, bringing the hands right back to the face. Pull from your hips, push from your hips. Push that right hip right into the phone. So find a spot, keep turning those hips. Keep your back upright, extend those arms, pull them right back in. Woo, all right guys. So that was one round. We're gonna hit the second round if my phone allows it. All right, so we got 20 seconds left. You guys are gonna finish out. 